Perfect. Got it in two. Uh, all right, zero percent speed run. Um, PB attempt. I have very many minutes of time save. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, Shen, bold of you to assume this is gonna make it to YouTube. Saying hi YouTube just means it's not gonna PB now. Uh, yeah, like Rise does. Like how Rise lets you save character presets. That was actually a really nice feature for GDQ when we did SGDQ because I like made all of the custom like Palicos and Palamutes beforehand. Now you reset, he gets to say bye YouTube, and that'll be hilarious. True, but like, what if I, what if I actually PB though? Anyway, so the reset to on Kessin on sick. You have so much faith in me. I love it. That's so nice. Oh, true. He's actually... So he can't lose. Wow. It's the perfect ploy. Yeah. They call my shots and I always miss. Oh, no. Wait, Shen, can you... Uh, can you call a shot right now and call that I'm not going to PB? See? Here's the pro strat. Can you go to the right? I mean, I guess it also goes to YouTube no matter what now. Because I do upload every stream now. Which I think there's like two that I haven't uploaded yet. Um, the New Year's stream... Wait, did I actually delete, delete the YouTube stream? The, the New Year's stream? Uh-oh, I might have. Now that I think about it, I might have deleted that. Uh-oh. Whoops. <laughs> I'll have to re-download a 15-hour VOD from Twitch. Great. Yeah, because I deleted all of my VODs up until January. Uh, one of them is the VOD where you PB'd. Uh, no, I uploaded that one. I just didn't, um, publish it as a, um, I didn't publish it. It's unlisted in the, uh, playlist. Uh, for a while, at least, uh, they'll add nice QL changes, like being able to turn down the intensity of crit effects. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, well, I mean, I hope they just, like, turn down the uh, effects entirely. Because, like, I, I was watching somebody play Rise the other day. And I was looking at the screen and I was like, I cannot tell what's happening here at all. I cannot see the screen. I hope they turn down for what? <laughs> High action. Yeah, that is pretty great, isn't it, Shen? <laughs> I think it's authentic and they shouldn't change it. True. Be careful what you wish for. Ryoza watches the stream. He's taking notes from you guys. Yo, Leon. <laughs> Rioso is definitely a VOD frog. Hi, Rioso. Leon, thank you for that bless. I hope you're doing well. Happy Wednesday. You should nerf weakness exploit. They already did. They tied it to Clutch Claw. They tied it to Tenderizing. Oh, yeah, no. I, I couldn't do that, B-Ren. I turned effects for other people off many moons ago in 14. Many, many moons. 
And then turning the like summoner pets sizes down. Oh, less is more. So it's in pot pack hypno uh, hypnocatrice uh, since free me night. Yeah, yeah, I keep telling him to leave it there. First person, 24 man with all effects on. No, thank you. I'm not going into an alliance raid. Into an alliance raid with full effects on. It ain't happening. Traitor. You've changed. I'm so sorry, Shen. I looked up at the website and didn't feel like pizza anymore, so I'm getting taco. <laughs> Why did we go through that? <laughs> Why did we go through all of that effort, Carol? We spent 20 minutes. It's a whole character arc about ordering food in this chat. He doesn't sound appetizing anymore? Oh my gosh. I'm starting a change called Big Washington and selling tacos. Absolutely should. Big Washington. What would the what would the Australian equivalent of Little Caesar be? Like what's an Australian slang for little? Konihi, how's that bagel? What kind of bagel was it? Was it delicious? No 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 no. You gotta have a fun word. No no no, you have to have a fun word. You got a fun word for everything, Shen. I said slang. I know you speak English. I said a slang word for little. You've got to have, like, a fun, goofy word for it. Oh, I had, uh, I had pork chops for dinner. I made pork chops last night. Ankle fighter Caesar. <laughs> uh, okay, but then you need, like, you need, like, like a famous Australian person to replace with Caesar. Kindy. Oh, Kindy's actually good. Kindy Irwins. There we go. We did it. Well, Shen's starting a pizza chain. Kindy Irwins. She sounds really good. I would order from Kindy Irwins right now if it existed. It's just a real person. I'm pretty sure Steve Irwin's kid is called Bindi. Oh, actually, I think that's right. Well, regardless of what Shen's starting, I'm buying it. It'd be the change you want to be true. Oh, yeah, it could be like fast food Italian. Oh, his daughter's name is Bindi. Thank you, Vexen. See, we're getting the hot Steve Irwin lore tonight. I'm drop shipping pizza. You're going to order it from Little Caesars and then re-deliver it to them. Holy. Wait, is that even legal? Can you do that? <laughs> that can't be legal. Time to find out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Drop shipping pizza has got to be the funniest thing I've read all night. <laughs> Kind 
Can I please turn the camera? Thank you. Nice. You can use my address, Shen. I don't mind. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move soon, anyways. You can just keep using this address. So it's your first Teosha solo. Very proud of myself. I'm very proud of you too. Hell yeah, Primal. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I was I was trying to say this earlier. I don't know what happened. I think I just forgot to say it. Um, when we were practicing for our race, like when Green and I were practicing for our race on Sunday, I actually PB'd. And obviously didn't save it. But I PB'd in practice. You should race more or not. It gives me a lot of anxiety. Um, so, Leon, I had one on Monday. Uh, that one went weirdly. Like, it went okay. Um, oh my gosh. And then I have another one tomorrow. Uh, and the one tomorrow is my second interview with my first pick. So, um, hopefully that one goes well. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping it goes well because, like, their office is in downtown Chicago. It's the kind of work that I want to be doing anyways. It's all project management work. It's not actual, like, field support. I'll have to go out in the field, like, every now and then. I'm just, I'm so into this position, and I and I want it real bad. And so I'm going to do my best tomorrow. But I have a I have an interview tomorrow at 2 Eastern. Um, so hopefully it goes well. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, Green. Though, I already had um, an interview with the big manager. I guess they just wanted him there for the second one, too. Because the second interview was so I could meet the uh, program coordinator. But they wanted him there, too, I guess. Yo, Laverin! Everybody coming in on the Laverin raid. My name is Jal Bagel. I speedrun Monster Hunter games. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're playing some Monster Hunter World Xeno Percent speedrun attempts tonight. Uh, going for a PB. I've got a bunch of time saved at the very end, so he's got to hold a good time all the way until then. Laverin, how is your stream? What were you up to? Thank you for the SO, dude. Thank you for the raid. Uh, what were you up to today? Are we Power Worlding or are we Monster Hunting? I spent uh, probably eight hours, eight eight to twelve hours today. I don't know. I kind of blacked out a little bit uh, just playing Power World because I was on a job site today just watching them work, <laughs> and I didn't need to get out of my car for anything, so I just sat there and played Power World on the Steam Deck. Uh, nearing the all craft on World. Oh, nice. About to finish all layers and pendants. Then it'll be all weapons crafted. Hell yeah. Dude, that's exciting. Hey guys, if you don't know Laverin, Laverin's also a monster hunter um, 
uh, uh, chronically a part of the Monster Hunter Anonymous uh, addiction group. Just like, just like me. Uh, so you have to go and check him out. Oh, it, it absolutely wasn't Biren. Yo, Pyros. We can stop anytime we want. No, we can't. We can stop when Wilds comes out. And then we just have new Monster Hunter to play. <laughs> I can't stop. Are you kidding me? Nah, dude, I haven't PB'd in like three months. Two months. I've got four minutes of time save at. Uh, at the very end of the run, and uh, just haven't saved it yet. December 13th was the last time I PB'd, yeah. And it was an insane poverty PB. Uh, my goal was a 227, and I got a 228.00.16. And I was so salty I didn't publish the run. Yeah, I, I literally was on world record pace and then just threw it to Elders. No green bone. All right, so I'm still missing green bone, but I got uh, small bones there. Yeah, it happens. Um, so now, uh, yeah, true. I'm just throwing for content. It's true, actually, because you just get more Monster Hunter out of me. You're going to get Monster Hunter out of me anyways, though, so I really don't know what the point is. Uh, depends, uh, Konihi. I, I have other goals that I want to do with Monster Hunter. Um, it just kind of really depends on, like, how good the PB is. I'm trying to get, like, a good 227, but I know I can get, like, a 225 now. Um, so we'll see where I end up. Uh, I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm going into, like, PB for right now, and then I'll figure out what I'm doing. Because I, I want to do no add-ons, uh, world record improvements. Um, I want to do other weapons. Like, I want to improve some other weapons. Uh, like, just find another weapon and just start scripting it out. Um. And then, uh, I want to do my sub one hour in Rise, which I think is free. Um, and then what else did I want to do? I don't know. I've got a lot of a lot of things that I want to do. I did have an interesting idea today, and I tweeted it out. I don't know how many of you noticed. Um, but doing co-op Xeno percents with other creators that know nothing about the speedrun. And then we just, like, use their weapon and then just mess around until Xeno's dead. Yeah, Shen. So I wanted to do, I wanted to do one for each weapon. I thought that would be fun. Do you want to be the IG one? What are you talking about? You create dank memes in my chat. Hey, leave video and go with another IG user, or you know Mia. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go with Skoy. <laughs> I think it's so funny that your first pick for the person that I'm cheating on is Skoy and not Mia. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so funny.
This poor bird? Nah, he's fine. Your option select needs work. Ice Wax can't change the SD. Yeah, it's great. I love it. I want to do another sharp percent with Ice Mod. I went back and I watched that and like imagine if I actually understood how Ice Switch Axe worked when I did that. That would have been so much more entertaining. Oh, we should probably do that soon, huh? The the PFP submissions selection. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna pick one of Shen's memes. I think it's beautiful. Oh, I got, uh, I'll look at it during Zora One. I'm scared now. What if no Anjanath? Sick. Ice Swax is very reminiscent of 4U Swax. Which is to say, you had to like switch between the stances. Uh, but yeah, like mechanically, B Ren, like that's how it works. But they, um, they like fixed the problems with Axe Mode, so Axe Mode actually like deals enough damage to use it. I'm gonna have to take on Toby. I don't think I got a Green Bone yet. I didn't see a Green Bone there. Godzilla minus uh, one was so good. Yeah, didn't it get an, uh, nominated for an award, an Oscar? You want to know what's really funny is um, I grew up with my entire life knowing what the Oscars were and thinking that they were named after my childhood dog, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I would go, I don't think Oscar would like this movie. <laughs> they weren't named after your dog i mean like i i, I just learned that too so hi ultra hi minty No Shin slander. Ah, uh, yeah, Shin uh, Godzilla is kind of amazing. I need to rewatch them all. I've seen them all once. Because uh, one of my friends from high school is like a really big like Universal Monsters and Godzilla fan. 
and um, he like sat me down one day and was like, "You need to watch all of these." So we're gonna watch all of them today. And that was like years ago, and I, I feel like I need to do it again soon. So the same day that we watch Princess Bride, we'll watch all the Godzilla movies. How about that? <laughs> Uh, I'll say, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. Quite the undertaking. True. My favorite Godzilla movie is the one where Godzilla dropkicks, uh, Megalon. Is that a thing? That sounds awesome. Oh, wait, I think I've seen that, um, I think I've seen that, like, clip. PB by 2 minutes 55 when it takes 2. Let's go. Congrats, Ultra. Congrats to you and Ellie. Yeah, it's like the clip of just like Godzilla flying horizontally across the screen. To be fair, like all those, uh, like even like the, um, uh, like the Ultraman movies when they, you know, they like dress up in costume and like put up the mock cities and just go buck wild. They're a blast. Yeah, like Pacific Rim was a great movie as long as you're going in there with the expectation of big robot fight, uh, fight monster. It's just like, it's like the Transformer effect, too. Like, as long as you're going to Transformers to see, you know, big monsters fight each other or big robots fight each other, like, you're going to like it. What they do with this uh, model in Shin Ultraman? Yeah, dude, I don't know. Pacific Rim is peak? It is. It's just, pe it's, it's a peak, like, just, you know, monster movie. I love the bit. <laughs> the big robot hit the big monster and then kept doing it. Dude, it's so good. So good. Yeah, no, Del Toro's kind of a genius. I really love the fact that he went to Universal Studios and was like, I want to make a movie. Um, was it like the, the swamp monster, the fish monster but that is like from Universal Studios? He's like, I want to make a movie about that, but it's not like a horror movie or a thriller. It's like, you know, a love story. And then they told him no. And he said, OK, I'll do it anyways. And then made Shape of Water. And then Universal is just going there like, whoops. We made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, because the shape of water was supposed to be was like a pitch for um, a Universal Studios movie, like another Universal Monsters movie, and they said no. Cowards, honestly. Even the more flawed ones like Crimson Peak. I don't think I've seen Crimson Peak. I don't think I even know which one that is. I do really like the fact that the whole premise of Shape of Water, though, is just a woman looking at this, like, fish monster and just saying wood. <laughs> Tor made sure that they tried to replicate the vibe of two dudes in suits punching each other. And they made the monsters all rubbery and weird. Oh, for for um Pacific Rim? Yeah, because like he was trying to like recapture that same kind of like Goji-esque era. He was making a Silent Hill game and then he wasn't. <laughs> Wait, what?
Welcome back, Carol. Hi, Sneaks. Wait, hold on. Was this about a, uh, that Del Toro making a Silent Hill game? E.T.? Nuka Kojima was making a Silent Hill game when he was back at Konami. Kind of. I think I vaguely know about this. How the run's been? Uh, first run of the night. So far, so good. I probably don't know a lot about this. It's a Kojima thing. Oh, and then he got canned. Oh, tragic. Okay, I didn't know that. Then we got a Silent Hill 2 remake. Oh. But that's not the game that he was working on. Maybe the worst time I... Oh, yeah, because we got Death Stranding instead. Yeah, okay. I think I understand now. Very good. Konami's trying to win worst company race. Their competition right now is Capcom and Activision Blizzard. So I'd say they're doing a pretty good job. The monkey gets Mjolnir? Okay, hold on. Yeah, Capcom's doing their best right now. How come the DRM thing? Yeah. It's like literally no reason for them to be going back to older titles, like older than three years old, to add DRM to them, and then breaking the stability of the games. Shen, have you played that Kong game yet? Skull Island? Have you played that? When are we seeing the return of Shencube streams and you that's like your main game? Is it miserably bad? Yeah. Yeah, what Minty said.
Where did all my speed go? Sick. Thank you, game. That was really weird. Uh, from YouTube, Joy here. Yo, Ryu, how are you? So your GDQ run uh, and got hooked on the content and watch everything from PRs to WRs. Nice. Thank you so much. Three, nice. Five second time save. I really do appreciate it. Welcome on in. I appreciate you being here today. Uh, Sven, they already fixed it. It launches on Steam Deck again. That was also a single person having a problem with it, and then everyone said, eh, it's not working on Steam Deck. It launched perfectly fine for me. Imagine being Ubisoft right now. None of them are doing well. Wasn't Ubisoft... The, which one was the one that just said uh, in an article that um, p uh, players need to get used to uh, not owning games? Was that Ubisoft? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Ubisoft needs to get used to not selling games. Smile. It references to streaming services, yeah. Did it require Valve uh, to issue a Proton fix for it anyways? I think so. The quote was kind of out of context uh, in the interview. I mean, it's true, but you also have, like, a very large, like, number of people who are advocates for physical media. But I, I get where you're coming from, uh, Moby. Uh, that was a decent uh, Jerry Todas. I wouldn't say it was a good one, but I would say it was good enough. I'm starting to think about uh, green. Remember when I said I had that like extra? I think it was here. Ooh, this is a little too far to the left, maybe. Part of me doesn't remember using one there. I don't know. Uh, I already messed up my damage. Yeah, I've already messed up. Let's see if it still works. Never punished. Yeah, I did a couple extra hits there just to be safe. Um, we're fine. I, I messed up because I drew attack into that when I shouldn't have. So I just need to make sure that I had the damage for it. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, absolutely. Um, the Twitter bandwagoning right now is is insane. Like, there's just like so much. Like anything that gets said right now is just immediately people are are jumping on it just to you know virtue signal and use it to to grow. That's why I don't ever comment on that stuff. Fire smoke. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. That's why I don't comment on that stuff on social media, because I think it's shallow and unnecessary. But I don't mind talking about it here, right? Because I think it's it can be, like, interesting conversations and we can learn things about it. But, like, I don't I don't ever comment on social media unless it's something that, like, I truly care about. Like, you know, people actually having their rights taken away. Stuff like that. Like, actual impactful stuff. Not, like, one specific streamer said something mean about the video game I like. I think you should, Shen, yeah. Also talking on stream, you can get yourself clipped out of context. 
is pretty cool. Big. Big, 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 big. See, look at that. Dude, I cannot believe this game is this consistent. It's just so cool to me that this game is this consistent. <clears throat> This feels like a speed run now. It only took five years. Cause I did I like run this game before and I'd be like, oh, we're only down five minutes. Like we can get this back, no problem, guys. <laughs> oh, plus or minus thirty seconds? Yeah, whatever. There was definitely, like, there was absolutely at one time an atmosphere where it was like, oh, five minute time loss, we'll get, we'll make it up on the next split. <laughs> you remember when World Record had two carts in it? Yeah. My PB has a cart in it. We have 10 minutes of save in Elder Dragons. Yeah, and, and today I'm like, yeah, we have four minutes of save in Elder Dragons. Smile. That was an era. Some things never change. I never thought speedrunning world uh, is even a thing. I have yet to, to beat a Latrian, so the concept of getting uh, shit done in half a day is wild. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, it's just like a lot of like time and prep and skipping out on a lot of things, right? The more time that you invest, the easier your hunts are going to be, right? So I just, you know, don't do any of that. Zeno also took me a week only because it took me three days uh, to beat Nergigante. <laughs> Stuff is art, man. I appreciate that. There's a lot of artists that go into this, too. So to speak. Uh, you have to adjust to even minor things like terrain placement. Something I would uh, never have thought. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, no, there is a lot of like little things that we do have to kind of think about while on a run and like while we're doing attempts so we just, you know, don't lose them. Uh, and yet I still make like small mistakes like that that lead to big time losses, but not nearly as many as I did. Did you look at the Sea of Thieves update uh, in detail? I did not. I just saw that they were reworking some stuff, and so I was really curious to see what they reworked um, to see if it would like get me interested in going back to it uh, for a little bit. I think Wrathless is becoming my most consistent monster. Uh, Wrath is a fun one. Doing Wrath quickly is also fun, just because like I think it's one of the more annoying fights, especially in Master Rank. But like the moment you can like uh, lock it down, I think it's real good. Give you a rundown uh, when you're on Zora's back, sure. I was late. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy reading chat and trying to see how Shen was going to. It's couples PFPs. Not all, not, not exclusively Minty, but uh, Green said he would do couples uh, profiles with me. Never even thought about using Gilly Mentor to put down traps uh, or to bait monsters under environments. Yeah. Yo, Crow. Favorite monsters? Namiel? Ugh. Those are just funny picks. Yeah, I need to uh, I need to finalize that. Maybe we'll do that next week. Maybe next week we can do um, Hosis too. I should try to set that up this weekend. So the reason why I've been stalling on that is because I want to set it back up so you guys because like uh with the with the charity stream that we did for halloween we unlocked a hostess speed run up to zora 2. i wanted to give you guys the chance to unlock it all the way up to xeno um so i was gonna make a donation incentive for it so you guys could still donate towards gamers outreach and work towards that goal I can clap it across three oceans, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nami's a great fight. Smile. Alright, this time I didn't forget my Thunderbug restock. Does it got you playing Pokemon White 2 again? Let's go. Fun game. I I wanna I, I don't know what Pokemon game I want to play next. Because I still need to finish up Scarlet Violet um DLCs. Uh but yeah, but that's kind of the idea that I had for the um for the hostess stream, because I want, you know. I want that incentive to get met, right? So maybe we'll do that. There will be more. All right. Is that a threat or a promise? Hi, Gren. Pokemon Torny? I mean, I don't want to do VGC stuff ever again. Namiel's worst Mizuzune mechanics wise. Agreed. At a 17 watch streak? Dang. The fact that anyone comes back to this stream shocks me every day. Y'all, don't you know I'm cringe? Like, who, who has the real problem here? Me because I speedrun every day, or you guys because you watch me play the game the exact same way every single day? I love you guys. Please don't leave. <laughs> uh, item pouch.
Uh, what is the mechanic here? Does uh, damage on the uh, magma cores just do nothing? Correct. Um, Zora 1 has a health gate that you have to reach to finish the quest. Um, but if you reach that health gate in phase 1, then you don't have to do anything on phase 2. The magma cores are here in phase 2 just so you can like actually reach that health gate. Um, but also... Uh, if we damage the magma cores and they break, then like we lose a bunch of time. We just don't do that. It says I'm watching, I'm supervising uh, through my eyelids. That's fair. That's fair. The number of people that tell me they fall asleep to my streams, I don't get it, y'all. I I think I am so loud and annoying most of the times. I don't get how anyone can can sleep, like fall asleep to like listening to me. Yeah, Nergi just spawns at the very end, and then we just have to do the quick kill on him. Uh, it's just a really, a really fast, uh, you know, kill on him. Season 11 is building off of 10's final update. Um, introduced Safer Seas, right, the non-PVP game mode. Uh, all the loot has been overhauled, and all the world events have had their loot drops adjusted. Items are now worth more, uh, but there's less total items per event. Uh, with the result being mostly a net positive to rewards. Mostly. Gotcha. It's 4 a.m. for someone. True. I also appreciate you explaining uh, a lot of things consistently uh, in your YouTube VODs. I learned so many uh, things it's unreal. Yeah. Definitely a sleepable too. Oh, dang. Really? I don't know. I don't think my. I don't think I'm that soothing. I think I'm too annoying for it, but... Um, but yeah, no, I mean, because... I, especially like now right like we've had a lot of new people coming into the stream and still have a lot of new people coming into the stream and so when people ask questions i want to answer them because i i assume no one knows anything about this game i don't know a lot uh so you can start a quest and just fast travel to the first island you need to visit cool uh, this is fantastic for some quests because the first island can be across the map for you i.e you spawn in the north yeah 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 uh, you lose any loot on your ship when you do this, and you still have to complete the full quests uh, the old-fashioned way. That's nice, though. Yeah, I like that. Stop calling my friend annoying. It's like... You know how you can have, like, a pet? And you love that pet. You love that animal to death. But, oh my gosh, there are some days where that little bastard is just... annoying. That's me. Until the game decides to... <laughs> And then I scream at the top of my lungs. Yeah, it's a not function. Right, right, right. There's good annoying and there's bad annoying. You're describing my house right now. Yeah. Speaking of animals, my kitty cat is on the couch, I think. Uh, your toad applied uh, bad annoying, which you aren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, my cat today for real. I mean, I think, I, think I'm a, I think I'm a combination of the two. Definitely more good than bad. Definitely some bad, especially when you get me ranty. Ugh, game over. Uh, so you changes to the hit detection. You can opt in to have the server verify every shot you make, which reduces the phantom hits uh, that have plagued the game. The second part is there is now an audio cue when your cursor gets close enough to a hitbox to help improve aim without adjusting aim assist. Interesting. But you're angry at yourself, fair. Absolutely fair, B Ren. 100%. What am I talking about? without stopping? Yeah, that's why I try to. Uh, that's, that's like one of the things that I've always been working on. Like, I always say that, like, I'm still working on my mentality on stream and stuff like that. Even five years later, I'm still working on that stuff. Because, uh, like, the speedrunning environment and the environment of the, of my, like, the skill that I'm trying to do, like, the level that I'm trying to do, is, like, so much higher than what it used to be. So it's still something that I'm learning. Um, yeah, call me out, man. I don't mind it. Like, when people call me out, I don't mind it. Uh, ranty shirt, but then there's another aspect. You rarely just blame the game. It's more often, uh, I mess this up. Yeah. Definitely, uh, better, better quality mold. Yeah, well, I mean, I try to be fair, right? Uh, there's no reason to get, like unjustifiably angry at stuff you know like that's when it's like real cringe when like someone's just like being ragey at a game for the wrong reasons downside the servers are laggy 
uh, uh, part is the usual SOT servers getting bought down by an influx of players. Part of it is the game is just still too big for the map uh, to run physics properly. Gotcha. Have you considered that? Yeah, it's funny in a in a way that you want to like laugh at that person. Not funny in like uh, I am enjoying watching this. It's hey, uh, did you see this guy screaming at the top of his lungs? Uh, which Anjanath, uh, Blue Storm, the one on um, uh, on the race on on Monday? Did you? Yeah, yeah. I well, cause like I accidentally threw that Trank bomb a little too early. Uh, I didn't realize my my menu was there, my item bar was there, so that it was, it was 100% on me. And then um, when I whiffed it, I I thought I still had like an extra uh, trap, but I just I didn't. It was real unfortunate. Uh, run's going well, uh, Malachite. Well, 30. Um, it's going well. I lost a little time to Toby because I made a mistake, uh, but we made it all up, uh, plus some on, uh, Anjanath. Yo, Dula. How are you? Yeah, Ryu, so that um that fight is like the Nergigante there, we're just like, you know, like air quotes repelling it. He has a really small um health gate that we have to meet, and that health gate can be met by uh two large barrel bombs, two smalls, and a draw attack. Or two large barrel bombs and three smalls. Uh I, I agree with that, Otagaren. Is it is it supposed to be Odegaren or like do you like like it pronounced odd? Because I I look at that and I think Odegaren. Odegaren, yeah, okay, cool. The mind you just memeing? Oh, the fact that Cocaine Bear didn't get nominated uh, shows the Academy missing the entire point of the movie. True, there was a bear that got high on Cocaine. True, do they give that bless? Yeah, no, I mean, we're we're on a good run. I don't know. I'm I'm just I, I'm we're just running today. Um, I think I'm, I'm definitely getting to the point where uh, I I do need to move on to something else, whether it be like rise for a couple of weeks, uh, or honestly just for a week. I think I only need a week in that game to PB, um, or trying a different world category. Um, but I need to I need to find my um, my. You know, decompressing relaxation stream game, which may end up being Pal World. I really enjoyed it. My career's looking safe at the moment. Insect Glaive Zeno percent time. Wouldn't that be crazy? Didn't I do that a while ago? A palate cleanser. Thank you, Dante. I recommend Fatalis percent attack. That's true. I actually wanted to do one in February, so soon, TM. So maybe I'll go back to doing uh, Fatalis Percent Prep. So time to play Power World. It is a lot of fun. I don't know what the longing is. What is that? Is this a meme? Is this like a like a 800 hour 100 percent? Start running 100 percent Ocarina of Time. Okay. Can I play Ocarina of Time first? I've just never played it. 400 IRL days to finish. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> this, this is totally not sponsored by the Longing Publishers. So next weekend? I mean, soon, TM. Oh, I didn't get the angle right. You're, uh, you're going to play OOT? No. I played it before. I bought it on the 3DS. Waiting for that one to be responded to first. Um, and then I bought it on Wii Virtual Console or Wii U Virtual Console. One of those. I own it somewhere else, too. 
And I've started it twice. And then I just kind of get bored of it. <laughs> Wilds would be up by the time we were done with it. True. Maybe. I don't know. It could be more than three, 365 days away. Wait, what holds up, surprisingly? The 3DS port? Forge, weapon. Oh, the original OT, yeah. And then don't throw, we have to upgrade. Now I'm tempted to try and start a fresh file of Generations Ultimate and try to get the G rank as cat. Good luck! Especially in GU, where they nerfed cats. Thank you for hanging out, Dante. We'll see you later. Appreciate you. And that really is just free, huh? Uh, I still think it's worth, uh, Ryu. Only because you get the flavor of both, right? And that's something that I value. I absolutely think it's worth, though. Especially because, like, you're not going to have to wait, you know, a year to play it. Pretty good. You liked OT 3D? Was that 100% a couple of times? Oh, nice. Okay. No flashes. Tragic. <clears throat> Sorry, this is my focus, like, time now. Because this is the hard part of the speedrun. So I'm going to, like, try to pay attention to the rest of this now. I feel bad because we're having, like, really good conversations. And now I'm going to be, like, AFK. Uh, AFK. Confession, I don't really like Zelda games. Uh-oh. Why would I confess to that? Dude, 
Dude, why doesn't that work for me sometimes? I can't get that now. Oh, I think I was sprinting. Maybe that's why. That was a very good recovery, by the way. Like, that was a very good recovery on that. And then I don't need that one. I don't need the extra spider web. How dare you have an opinion? It's true, it's just not allowed. The only reason I played Breath of the Wild was because it was the only game on the Switch on release, and I would play it on my commute to work, because I was riding the train every day. Yeah, Shannon, girls have cooties. Would play again? Yeah, I mean, some people are, like, you know... People like that stuff. I'm <laughs> living my hobbyless life. All right, we did everything we needed to. Now just a clean Legiana, please.
All right, not bad. Just a little too long to like get to claw uppercuts and stuff and just having to like play it safe in general, but uh, still really good. <clears throat> Two flashes, that's good. I'm still gonna grab the extra on Odegaran though. Uh, placing, uh, using the claw before the trap, uh, just gives me an extended clagger time. So, like, when it claggers, I clutch claw first to get that, like, extended duration on the clagger. So, it's just enough time to do trank, trank, trap. Um, so it doesn't run away, like, outside of the trap. If we're fast enough and close enough, we can just use the initial clagger, which is what I was supposed to do, but I didn't, um, throw my trank bomb during the KO. I just wasn't, like, set up on it, so I just didn't do it. And instead, I just decided to play it safe or lose a couple of seconds and, um, uh, just grab the, the clagger. Instead of trying to, like, fumble with the controls. But it just, um, it extends the duration of the clagger and just gives us that opening to actually trap. I have torch pods. We're good. I wasn't going to say anything, Green. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I love Odegaren. I love this fight so much. This is hands down my favorite fight in the entire run. Just like hands down. Favorite fight. Yeah, no, that was that was uh, a great Odegaren fight. 236. Three minutes is the goal. Like 250 is the goal. Zoom in. <clears throat> yeah, no, he he's just great for like good positioning, good dash dancing. I think he's fun with every weapon, personally. Now that you've said that, I have a strong urge to disagree despite not having a real opinion on it. Fair.
I get it. You're you're a person on the internet. You're you're allowed to have an opinion technically. Mm. He's not Velcana. Oh, you're right. Odegarin is bad because it's not Velcana. BGL noted. <clears throat> Whoa, Velcana is like the best fight in the game. Like after Alatrian. It's like Alatrian, Velcana, the rest. Well, I think, oh my gosh, he actually got in. Why do the legs exist? unfortunate so the problem was that if i tap if i triple tapped him there he hit the waterfall and i think that would have been the better thing to do anyways but that like move that he did th that turn that he did that just entirely messed up the wall bang was uh not good it really messed me up um it's okay though Uh, I used... I was on the correct side, but he turned to, uh, the wrong... Uh, you'll just have to go and look. I, I can't even just explain it. But I was on the correct side to, like, triple hit. He just, like, moved in a weird way, and so the third hit would have put him directly at the waterfall. If he hit the waterfall, we get swept up in it. There is, like very little time to like actually get off of that so i feel like i what i did was better just so i could like actually keep my timing so i have one i have four flash bugs
It's okay, though. We're comparing as a perfect Diablos. We're literally fine. Is this dragon called Xeno? No, this dragon is called Diablos. Uh, what was the worst thing that happened during a speedrun that ruined that attempt? My cat's cho like, my cat chewed through one of my audio cables once, which invalidated a run that was on world record pace. That was a sharp percent, even. I should have taken. Oh no, that was the thunderbugs. I need flashes right now. We're we're fine. I've also had power gone out. Uh, I've had power go out in um, world record faces before. I paid Bo handsomely for that. Is that where he got that? Is that where he got all that spending money from? Yo, Honor, thank you so much for the 40 heckin' months. Welcome back into the bagel shop, my friend. Thank you, thank you. The UPS is a good investment. Um, yeah, UPS doesn't help me, though. Uh, because, um, the internet will go out if the power goes out because of how cable works. Like, the internet would still go out and, like, I would only have... Um, on my setup, I would only have, like, 20 minutes. So it really doesn't matter. But I'm not gonna buy a UPS that can run my setup for, like, an hour and a half. <clears throat> yeah. Because yeah, I run, I run two computers at once, plus, like, all the other nonsense in here. Power edges last that long? Not usually, but sometimes. Like, I'm, I, I sometimes stream during hurricanes. <laughs> Dude, we were up 41 seconds, and then Rathalos did a weird thing. Man. Tragic. We just need to, like, Rathalos to behave. We would have been up, like, 50 seconds here. That would have been so nice. Well, really, actually, only, like, probably 20 or 30. Because of that. Diablos. But we were comparing against a perfect Diablos. Like, that one wasn't bad. Uh, Al, by the way. All right, good timing. Okay, that hitbox is still there. Got it. Banshee? Yo, Vader! 
Hey, welcome to the Elevator Raid. My name is Jow Bagel. I spear monster the game. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. We're doing a Xeno% percent speed run. We were having a really good attempt, and then uh, Rathalos happened, which, you know, happens. Uh, but welcome on in, everybody. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask. Uh, Vader, how was your stream? Uh, I'm doing good, Banshee. I'm glad you're doing good too. Vader, how is your stream? What were you doing, dude? If you guys don't know Elevator, Elevator is a Monster Hunter aficionado. Good old friendo. Definitely go and check out his streams for World, Rise, and everything else in between. Hi, Sam. Uh, working uh, our way through the whole Halo series on Legendary. Let's go. Made it to four tonight. Nice. Uh, one of the things that I really want to do this year is replay through Halo 3 and Halo Reach. Two of my favorite video games ever made. Technically, Halo Reach was my first speed game. Technically. Though I never learned, like, actual speedrun strats. I was just, like playing uh, one mission over and over again, the sword. I don't know why. It's just a long mission, and I like doing it. But I would play it over and over and over and over again and just try to do it even faster. Am I excited for Friday? Yeah! Uh, Vader, are you playing, uh, solo Legendary, or are you doing it with friendos? Dude, the double slinger burst, horn break, so nice, so easy. Can you leave? Thank you. Yeah, Reach is hands down one of my favorite games. I do need to play ODST, I never played that. But yeah, before I was obsessed with Monster Hunter, I was obsessed with Halo. And then Halo 4 came out and I was a little upset about it. Uh, Halo 4 was the first one by not Bungie. Halo 4 was made by 343. Ah, aged poorly. I could have just stopped walking, it looks like. Yeah, well, like, the only reason I want to play it is because I want the story out of it, so maybe I'll watch, like, a playthrough of it instead. Because the, like, the biggest thing about, like, playing Halo games is, like, being Master Chief and, like, being a Spartan and, like, you know, being God. When you're playing ODST, you're none of those things. I mean, Halo 4 was still enjoyable. It just, like, wasn't Halo 3. Or Halo Reach, right? Like, you have to remember, they were coming off the... They were coming off of Halo Reach. They had to compete with Reach. And that's that's rough, because, like, Reach is probably one of the best 
the best games just made, period. Um, I am shielding and then back hopping from that. Where is this other explosion? Okay, we're just not going to explode anymore. Got it. Uh, but yeah, you can back hop after releasing a shield input. So from sheathed, I am shielding and then immediately dropping it and back hopping. Takes a little getting used to, but it is probably like one of the most useful pieces of tech that SNS has. You don't have to drop it. Oh, okay. You just need to be guarding. Gotcha. Maybe that's why I guard slash so much because I drop it. Single calm. No worries, elevator. Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Go do what you got to do. I really do appreciate you. Much love, and if you guys didn't go check out Elevator yet, you need to go do that. Only 10 seconds down, like we're doing just fine. I need I need this to be like plus or minus zero going into um elders. So like or I like like plus or minus ten, right? Like zero is still uh 224 pace. Good night, Bob. Sleep well. Dream of frogs. Thank you for the bless. Uh, yeah, Banshee, I saw it. It really, uh, I, I'm really hurt by the fact that, uh, prime subs don't count because over 50% of my subs right now are prime subs. Uh, but it's still very cool.
I didn't dodge. Full metal, thank you so much for the eight months. How's the hunting? It's going. Doing pretty good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, full metal. Welcome on back into the bagel shop, my friend. All right, good. We got the sack. We got like four sacks. We got the sack. All right, big time save from Pinky and Tracks. Let's go. Yo, Cersei. I hope you're doing well. Happy Wednesday. Dang it. A member of the Bagel Bites. One or two. Stag? Well, at least I know I'm not using the mod. I mean, I knew because of the uh, mining ore was like the, the mining spot wasn't there, but also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. How do we not have a, a count meme, like a count emote? You know, like the count from Sesame Street? How is that not an emote? Uh, I mean, just like in this channel in general, right? So we do be counting. All right, one, nope, we got three. 21, 22. All right, that's pretty good. Three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Yo, airless. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Would it be your cat emote with fangs and a cowl? That would actually be really funny. Hold on.
It's counting wrong. It's even funnier. Oh, yep. <laughs> I just saw it. That's pretty good. All right, so no time save from Pinky and Tracks, sad. But we got a big time save on Tickled Pink, so let's get that. Shit. I do that every time I forget to try I get to forget to craft that. So I'm gonna be short um an extra shock on Pinkian. Dang it. I do that every time, man. All right, so the only reason we didn't get the big time save there was because of spawn location. Ooh, go throw pizza in the oven for me too. I could use a pizza. <clears throat> Uh, second interview is tomorrow. We had to reschedule it. But thank you for asking. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Man, I'm going to suit up and everything for it. I want this damn job. <laughs> How am I short? Thunderbugs. I'm missing a Thunderbug again. What am I doing wrong?
Yeah, I just don't have a Thunderbug again. This time I restocked the three. I didn't have to use any extra traps anywhere, did I? Am I just like miscounting? Oh, I'm stupid. I think I skipped pink, uh, Paolumu ones. No, I skipped two on Paolumu. I'm dumb. That's why you don't do new stuff before practicing it. I missed that. Damn it, that sucks. I, I just thought about it, and I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what it was. No, uh... I'm gonna cap this still. I still have a, a a pitfall, but I'm a god at Pink Rathian. Never mind, she's running. He's doing it again. It's all over. Oh well, we'll finish it out. Yeah, that's 100% on me. I made that error. I, I now am thinking about it, and I ran past the two on Lumu, and I needed to grab the two on Lumu, because I only got three, not six. Yep, I keep making... I think I made that mistake last time, too. Damn it. Oh well, that's me. I mean, that's that's like new routing that we're like... That you need to like be constantly thinking about, and I just made a huge mistake. Funny thing is, though, is we can still PB. Is that what I did? Yeah, okay. I, like I said, we're doing new stuff and I'm not thinking about it right. I think my biggest problem is that, like, I know I can, like, skip those other ones, but I am not paying attention at those times because, like, I'm too busy talking to chat or something like that, and then I, I mess up. Yo, Ramos. All right, well, at least I got good, good tracks. Uh, not, not really, uh, Konohi. Konihi. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep doing that. So bad. What's that, LJ? PC final works, let's go. Ten eleven. Yeah, dude, ever since we theorized this skipping Thunderbugs thing, I've just been making so many mistakes with Thunderbugs.
13. Fourteen. Fifteen. Nope. Sixteen. Nineteen twenty. Time to buy a world and play the, <laughs> the fuck out of it. Let's go. If you haven't bought it yet, Exhibition Nexus. You buy it directly from my Nexus uh, store and support me directly. At no additional cost to you. Dude, I'm so mad I messed that up. That was free. I was doing so well. I even thought about it, too, because I saw the Thunderbugs on Diablo, so I was like, I should take this, and then just, like, didn't. All right, good tracks so far. Dude, I'm telling you, just throw, and you get good tracks. It's foolproof. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Crakes. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Uh, yes, I have been playing Power World, like, a lot. Like, an obsessive amount. And I really like it. Bye, Goose. And what's really funny is that I accidentally picked up that Thunderbug there. <laughs> Would have been nice to have before Pinkian. Uh, one or three. Dude, how do I get blessed tracks on cursed runs, man? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Imagine this RNG and I didn't lose a minute. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Like literally the best track patterns possible. Very cool. Whoops. <clears throat> really enjoy Basil casually? Yeah, Basil's a fun fight. I'm getting better at seething for Shara percent, so like I don't feel nearly as tilted by it. Oh, 
Hi, Grim. Yo, Evo, welcome on in. Dude, my SRC is so out of date. I haven't uploaded a PB in a minute. Got the extreme with armor made it aggressively purple. Let's go. Dration armor is Pog. <clears throat> yeah, sure, Grim. You can always DM me. I don't mind. <laughs> So now if we just have clean other dragons, I'll get a decent PB. Could definitely still hit that 226, which would be really cool. Who hit a defenseless puppy on the GDQ stage? Oh, green? Yeah, I know, right? I can't believe he dropped the rock on Dodo and lost those four seconds. I won't need the flashes. Cope, 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 cope. Yeah, the Dragoon armor. Uh, the Dracian. Or Draken. When we see a Fatalis present at GDQ, man, go tell them that you want to see it. Convince Echi to do a 12 hour long uh, hotfix hosting. Smile. We'll have plenty of breaks every hour. You versus Green Fatalis would be crazy. He doesn't stand a chance. My powers of ad lib are too strong. Bringing it back?
That sounded like the attack where he like slams both fists, so I shouldn't try to break the leg here, should I? Oh, that was very close to me. the best case scenario right there. Okay. Dude, that wall bang does so much. Oh my gosh. I always forget how much, like, that actually does. It, like, cuts out an entire PR. Green, I don't ask questions. I don't ask them. I take what I can get, and I keep going. You saw my Rathalos earlier. Earlier, I don't question anything. I just let it happen. Yo, Poke. Where did that uh, head topple come from, you may be asking? God. God himself. Three twenty two, good time. Yeah, I just don't I don't ask those questions anymore. I wonder if I hit the spike break threshold, but visually it didn't break. Well, the run's going well. We're down a minute because of a very big critical error on gathering. Uh, so that lost us a minute on Pinkian, but we're doing really good, Dio. Like, if I just do a really clean Teo here, we make up all of our time, and then we can still PB. You want to know Teo's PayPal? I'm going to turn this man literally into a paid actor.
Vene. Vega. That sounds about right, Biren. Um, but I think Teo would absolutely have a hot male. <laughs> I close chat during the cutscene? Nah, I don't care. I'm not on 224 pace, so I literally don't care. not going to talk about it. <laughs> We're not going to talk about any of that. I got it back. It doesn't matter. All right, well, we didn't get the Teo time save. Um, I, I don't know what happened, man. It's like a little sloppy, a little out of position. Two of my PRs went into the back instead of the head. One of my PRs was just like very like short. That's not all according to plan. We should have saved a minute there and we didn't. We only saved one second. Um, so, I mean, this is why I also like really didn't care. We're already down a minute. I mean, we can still PB off of this, but like it's not gonna be a good one. Um, I'm going to keep trying, but I really, I don't know. Yeah, is what it is. 
I'm not really worried about it anymore. I don't really know, like, what went wrong there. Like, I, I felt like my positioning and my timing was right. Other than the, the double PR, I just started a little too earlier. Like, a little too early. I need to do the back hop on the first head flail, not when he's, like, landing on the ground. And then that'll line up a little bit better. But yeah, that could have been a minute time save, and that was just, like, scuffed. This is going to be, like, a, like almost a four. Yeah, oh, no, it is a four. I want to embarrass him in front of everyone? Yeah, I just want to embarrass myself instead. Don't mind me. It's losing a minute at the very end of the run again. Don't mind me just getting runs on PB pace and then throwing my time save smile. Classic Jow Bagel move. It's okay. We're going to have a good Val here. I'm going to get back on pace. I'm going to have a good Kushala. They'll get us up. And then we'll lose PB to Zeno. Because tying my gold is very difficult. So. At least we have a plan. Uh, it's kind of hard to do that, Sven, because the timer needs to be on the screen for OBS to pick it up. there because it backed up into a wall perfectly at me. Unperfect. Grab this.
How did that gold? Oh my gosh. Dude, I lost the lock halfway through just because of like, I don't know why. And we still gold. I was getting very lucky with uh, AI and positioning there. Because I know where I can be to not be hit during most of Val's nonsense. All right, Unomas. We are on pace. Four seventeen. What? Is that four seventeen? Oh, the entire pierce went to the chest. I have to look at that because I did not read that. I think the lock makes it like more manageable green. I think just having good ad lib against it is better. Because, like, legit, I was positioning during attacks to finish PRs, right? I still think just going for the lock is better, though, because it's more consistent. Like, the pseudo lock is just more consistent. Ooh, I need that. I don't know they help you get the lock back when you lose it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, because you just do, like, what, like, two PRs and then get the finisher into the chest? Because, yeah, I was thinking about going for a leg break there, but I just, I don't know how to, like... I don't know how to get them consistently enough to, like, script them in. So I was just trying to keep hitting the chest. All right, bye, chat. All right, we're fine. All right, 
Now just a clean Xeno. That is a clean Xeno, man. And next time, not losing a minute because I miscounted my routing. You put all of your damage into the head. It puts you a hit away from a Fluvia Flinch, but doesn't mess with your chat. Oh, okay. I understand. Interesting. They just do two PRs into the head. Got it. All right, uno mas. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Like, honestly, Zeno's the easiest part, so, like... Uh, zero Sovrag because we can skip them. Smile. Immediate runnies! Free! Alright, let's get a hand swipe out of this then. Uh, but normally, like, if we weren't using cutscene skip mod, it's an hour and three minutes. No, there's a script. You'll see it here in a second. Back up. Oh my gosh. All right, well, at least he can do this. So for Zeno, it is the leg lock. That left leg, we're going to bully the crap out of it for the rest of this fight.
Oh, I got it. Yeah. Unfortunate because I've just getting gotten runnies just every single AI moment. Oh my gosh, I finally have a good PB. <laughs> oh my gosh, I finally have a good PB. <laughs> that was a good Xeno. Even though it was like slower, that was still a really good Xeno. I was comparing against a perfect Xeno. Yeah, 530, we take those. That is a great run to compare against. Other than the minute time loss. So outside of losing a minute to Pinkian because I forgot to get more Thunderbugs because I messed up the route. I could have been a 226. We, we threw a little bit. That's okay. It's okay. That was great. That was a great, great run. So this is this could be a really good... Other than the perfect... Now we have a perfect Val to compare against. But other than the perfect Val, like this is going to be a good run to compare against. Yeah, this is this is real real good real good comparable. Gonna <laughs> lose some at Odegaran and Val. Ah, I can save more on Odegaran. Pinky and Val uh basically cancel out, yeah. Yeah, because I even like I stood uh I stood at the Pinky and fight for like a couple of seconds, like how do I not have a Thunderbug here? Yep, very good run. All right, cool. Well, we fi I finally have a PB to compare again, like a good PB. No more, no more incredibly copium 22800.16 with four minutes of time loss and Elder Dragons. My career, it's safe. Oh, true rascal. <laughs> you get to keep your job. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, but like for real though, I hope all of that goes okay. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, and Shen called the PB. <laughs> he actually did it. 